She ain't blonde, she's a brunette, and she's singing for Armenia at Eurovision 2023. The song is Future Lover, and this performance, it was very futuristic. Shall we talk about it? Let's, Let's do, do this! this. You guys, I'm really pleasantly surprised by this. And I don't know why I'm surprised, because Armenia always thinks outside of the box. But this is sort of like projection mapping. It reminds me of like the Sabina Babaeva dress. Do you remember when it had all the lights on it? It's like, I don't know, you, you'd see this at the Olympics. I remember they had something similar, projections on white dress, like Paulina Gagarin did projections on the white dress. This is like projection on the stage. And she's part of this oozing, technicolor fantasy and camera angles are obviously going to be everything here because if you see that from above maybe she's going to melt into the floor maybe she's going to be like part of a flower that disintegrates petals falling apart i don't know elena nechayeva another example yeah. of projection dresses there's so many but this is like projection staging um yeah I, it's just really arresting and you want to know what else she's going to do she's wearing like a white Again, Princess Leia futuristic dress. There's some silver zips and things, a bit of flesh. It could be a toga from ancient Greece. It could be a ball gown from Mars in the year 2072. It's taking us all over the place is my point, and I just want to see more. And that's a sign of a good rehearsal, a good TikTok clip when you want to see more. Absolutely. So this song is probably one of my biggest growers this season. I think after all of the pre-party chaos and you just wanted to kind of unwind, this was the one song that I kept coming back to. It kept drawing me in. And I'm so, so pleased with this rehearsal. Um, I just I just love the, you know, how many songs do we get about a past lover? How many songs do we get about a current lover? How many songs do we get about a future lover? I think this is the first one we've heard and she draws on this you know we've got these colors kind of bursting out from underneath her and it's like she's painting this picture mm. in her head and i think it really visualizes you know i think someone on the live stream called it a pinterest board of things <laughs> like the coffee the <laughs> connection and i think it looks really stunning and then i love that kind of we go back to just drawing in on her with that spotlight coming down like you say all about the angles mm. and i think this is going to look so brilliant on stage and the costume is like a deconstructed dr martin boot which <laughs> i am living for oh, that's a good comparison <laughs> i thought it was an unstitched like giant baseball yeah mm. that stitching do you know what this is a bold statement. I'm going to say this is my favorite visual of the day. Oh, wow. I think because of the surprise factor, right? I didn't know what to expect. I'm not a huge fan of the song, I have to admit. It's not for me, but the visuals, mm. loving it. Love the colors, the pinks. I mean, it matches our lovely yeah. backdrop. It matches the lush vibe. It looks like a bath bomb dissolving in water, actually, <laughs> funnily enough. I was thinking an oozing lava lamp, like spillage of a lava lamp. Um, and yeah, I love, who are we listening to? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was trying to pull the pictures of Brunette and uh, Yelena Sigrin. Yeah, let's up. get those pictures. Um, yeah, she looks good. She, what does she say? She does good. She feels, she feels good. good. She, she is, is good. good. Yeah, really like the interesting shape of the stage, actually. Mm. Somewhat of a pyramid shape. Yeah. I think the camera angles will change a lot of what we're seeing here. Um, it, it's difficult to think what this is going to look like on the screen itself. But yeah, she, she looks incredible. Lay down in that dress on that. It looks like, a, remember Montaigne Technicolor? Yeah. A little bit like that, but more refined, more powerful, more, more of a pop. I feel like she's melting into the stage. Mm. Or like, yeah. you know when there's gasoline dripping from your car in a puddle of water? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's that's what I mean. That kaleidoscopic effect. Yeah. Um, and also that it's at an angle, that must be something with the camera. Like they want it to look it, this is yeah. just incredible, and we can't wait to see more. Absolutely. Final question for you, is this going through? Mm, I'm going to say a tentative no. What? <sighs> Where is it in the running order? Am I right that it's... It's second. So the running order is not on its side. However, I don't think there's any reason why this can't. It's got the visuals, it's got the vocals, it's got that kind of immediate connection, that thing to grab you. Run, despite the running order, I'm going to give it a yes. I'm 
giving it a solid yes. I'm saying amen, A for Armenia, direct to the final, visually, musically, sensually. Our girl has braces. She's doing it for all of us who have had to have our teeth straightened. You go, girl. Um, I think this is just really, really clear that it's going through. What, what I, I, no, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just not sold on the song itself. Visuals mm -hmm. are great. I know a lot of people are loving the song. It's, the, the, it drags out a bit with the spoken word part. We're talking about the rehearsals, I'm talking about how she looks on the stage. I think it's fantastic. I really, really do. I want it to go through for that reason. But on the music side, I don't know if it's, it's, it's not pulling me in, but I can only speak from my perspective. I can't speak from anyone else's perspective, point of view. The rest of Europe might love it. I know she's had a lot of attention on social media. So in a televote only, semi, in a televote only semi-final, that probably will work in her favor, but the running order mm. does worry me. City Zenny went viral and they didn't qualify. This well, they, they were Zenny. singing Come about on. a salad. And just exactly. Say, the opening line was eating vegetables and pussy or something. I this would rather a cute cafe than a salad. Thank you. Thank you. Give me those smoothies, girl. Yeah. Listen, three words for you. Semi-final two. I'm sorry. This is a weak semi-final. You can call me yeah. a hate. It's just not a strong semi-final. And Brunette turning up with that Technicolor color dream coat fantasy slope. She's in there. Yeah. Now look, we're gonna bring Jonathan in very quickly. Please tell us, Jonathan, first reaction oh, he's doing the to rounds. He's Brunette, doing the rounds. and then whether this is going to the final. I feel like this is what Cyprus were trying to do last year with Ella, oh. but Armenia have cracked the code a lot better. I think particularly because this, the surface they're working for is flat, mm. and so the projections just work a lot better here. And I think Armenia Brunette's vocals are stunning. On top of that, again, yes, the song does take a lot of time to build, but now that they've got the projections on top of that to really give the viewer some cues to go along with and sort of take you on that journey, and then the lighting's at the end, I think this is a real, real grower, and I definitely think this is going through. Well, that's what we think. What do you think? Is Armenia headed to the final of Eurovision 2023? Where will it place? And what do you think the story is with the visuals? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Hit like, comment down below, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also, if you want to read about braces and all, not brunettes, but Williams, you can read about all in Wild Dances, which we'll be talking about in the Lush Lounge in Liverpool. <laughs> so come and visit us if you are staying in the whole city. You can pre-order my book, link <laughs> in description. We'll see you later. Bye! Bye.